You know, in heaven, you're still learning, right? You know, heaven has a university. And in heaven, people are still being taught by different people who have ranked in heavenly places. And you can still go through school in heaven. Hey, my name's John. I showed up at the Glory Revival and I got taken up into this classroom up in heaven. There was a white, there's a white classroom and it was like, there is no floor. But the anointing which you have received from him, it abides in you. And you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and it's true, and it's not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. Did you catch that? The anointing within you, say the Holy Spirit. Now, the anointing referenced here is the Holy Spirit within you. And the Holy Spirit, it says he will teach you all things. Say, teach me. He will teach you, and that same anointing teaches you concerning all things. Say, all things. So when he said, because of this anointing, you know all things, and you said, I know all things, partially you're like, well, no, I don't. How many of you really don't know everything? Really, in the soul. Because the soul is your mind, your emotions, and your will. So in your mind, you don't know everything. But in the spirit, you know all things. So now we need the spirit who knows all things to teach the soul and renew the mind to know all things. So now you need to enroll your soul into the school of the spirit. So the soul becomes a student to the spirit. <laughs> so, Holy Spirit, how do I do this? How do I handle this situation? Beloved, you got something better than Google inside of you. You got something better than ChatGPT up inside of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you got a question, you have him in you which teaches you all things hallelujah so there's a school in heaven so the holy spirit's your teacher i'll show you john 14 26 and i'll read it to you but the helper the holy spirit say the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all the things that i said to you say amen so i want you to begin to develop the curriculum of your life have you thought about that so if I have a teacher my teacher has a curriculum I want to know where I'm at <clears throat> what courses am I taking in this semester and what classes am I attending are you even showing up to class that's why many of us get an F like she just said <laughs> and then you want God to graduate you you haven't even showed up to class do you see the logic that we have that is so fallible we don't show up to the class of the spirit but then we want God to graduate and promote us. We fill ourselves with extracurricular activities and assume that because look God, I do all these extracurricular activities, I should get an A in social studies. Like you didn't even show up to social studies class. You're just doing gym. You show up to the gym, but you don't show up to the spiritual fitness training. You're in school. Say I'm in school. My teacher is the Holy Spirit. And then say, what class am I taking? You should know an answer. Hey, my name is John. So uh, I showed up at the Glory Revival. And next thing you know, we started praying, started building up our most holy, our holy state. And next thing you know, Nelson comes up to me and starts singing over me, saying like, open my eyes, open his eyes, Lord. Open his eyes, Lord. Open up. Open the eyes of my servant, Lord. Let him see. There's more for you than against you. Let him see. 
the glory prepared for him, Lord. There's more for you than against you. And then he started singing some other stuff over me. And as that was happening, I just felt the presence of God just fall on me. Like a, like I was just felt lighter. And then to the point where I just fell, I fell forward. Then I was out. And then later on, he starts singing oil, oil in my lamp. Yeah, there's oil in my lamp. And as I started singing that, I just felt literally oil just pouring into my body, pouring into my back. I was on the floor with my back facing upward. And I just felt oil pouring into my body. And as the oil started pouring, all of a sudden I would feel like electricity just zapped me to where I would just, my body would just act like it's being electrocuted in the wood. I would just like short little zaps. And then it started intensifying, intensifying and intensifying to the point where I was just rolling around all up in the front, rolling around, shaking, going like, and all I felt was a mixture of fire and electricity all over my body. I had no control over my body, it was just, I was just shaking that crazy. And then to the point where I finally like settled down and I got taken up into this classroom up in heaven. There was a white, there was a white classroom and there was like, there was no floor, but you could still see the white and you're still standing as if you're standing on something. That, I, that's the best way I could explain it. But then there's a whole bunch of golden seats like they're all gold, just in a classroom setting. And next thing, I'm, I'm the only one sitting in one of the seats and the rest of the class is just empty. And then in a split second, Nelson just pops up in the classroom and he just starts teaching about like ascension. And after he started teaching about ascension, like I, it was so weird because I was at glory, but my body was at glory down here, but I don't remember, so I went to go back to look at the video, and when I was in that trance, I don't remember anything that Nelson was preaching here at to Glory. I just remember what he was preaching to me, or what he was teaching me in the class uh, up in heaven. You know, I heard a man of God say once, and it was an incredible question. How many of you know good questions lead to great revelation? And he said, if you could have any ministry team or conference and any ministers in a conference, like of all time, in a conference, like all of you guys together, who would it be? You can have all the generals in one conference, who would it be? And they were like, oh, uh, John G. Lake, Smith Wigglesworth. You know, Mariah Woodworth Eder and all of these. And how many of you would love that? That would be incredible. In heaven, they have those kinds of conferences. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, in heaven, you're still learning, right? You know, heaven has a university. And in heaven, people are still being taught by different people who have ranked in heavenly places. And you can still go through school in heaven. Hallelujah. Now here's what's cool. You know that's not just when you die. You can go through the school of the spirit while you're alive. And the Lord will take you into heavenly places and teach you. And he'll sometimes bring different teachers from heaven into your classroom in heaven. Because how many of you know that those who die in Christ are never dead? He who dies in Christ is never dead. He what? Always lives. Say eternal life. And God is not the God of the dead, but the God of what? The living. So those who shed off their earthly tabernacle and go to heaven, are they dead? No, they've ascended. They're alive forevermore. And in heaven, how many of you know they're not just sitting on a cloud eating grapes? Heaven's not just some fairy tale land where we just float into nothingness and meaninglessness. Only the fool think hell is a party. You're an absolute fool. 
But the reason they think that is because the church has painted a weird heaven. Just this little weird fairy tale. Everything is gooey and we're just floating and we're touching flowers in heaven. Heaven's not like that. Heaven's technology is extremely advanced. Heaven has buildings that will blow your mind. No earthly architect can imitate the architecture of heaven. I mean, think about who's our, the architect of the universe. You think that his home, his dwelling has some cheesy architecture. Am I teaching something to you? Heaven's not some little weird cloud, you know, floaty place. Heaven is incredible. And only a fool would want to go to hell.